years and still haven't changed their tune. So this is uh, the 80 meter band and what you are hearing is that there's a part of the amateur 80 meter band around 3875, 3880, 3885 that uh, a lot of AMers use. So these are the amateur radio operators we are listening to right now. So I can actually tap into the AM uh, ham radio operators. Now you're hearing that little uh, chirp chirp thing, that uh, kind of tone. So this receiver is a single conversion. So what happens with a single conversion receiver is that the um, IF, the intermediate frequency, uh, creates an image, uh, roughly um, 900 kilohertz um, up or down depending on the design. And so what you're hearing here is that the four megahertz codar, because the chirp chirp you hear here, is codar, which is radar to measure the uh, the waves on the ocean. So that's an image of what is happening in four megahertz uh, interfering. And of course, we're listening to amateur radio operators in the 80 meter band because there's uh, that band is. Uh, you might wonder why a receiver has the 80 meter band. Actually, the reason why they added this uh, is that there's a 75 meter European uh, band where there are some uh, international broadcasters. Is that true? So by adding that band, it enables European listeners to listen to the 75 meter broadcast band in Europe. I can't make out what he's 
saying, but I can I can hear audio. Uh, he's only about 30 percent. He's an S9 here, but uh, he's not there. Okay, uh, the Springfield Mass fella. Uh, what is your name, and can you possibly turn the audio up anymore on that? 